Hey, it's BMF Media. Today, I'm testing a platform. I'm genuinely excited about it. It's called WaveSpeed AI. And if you are a creator, maybe editor, or even a developer juggling five different AI sites and 10 different API keys, this is for you. WaveSpeed AI is a professional multimodal AI hub. It's basically one place where you can use a bunch of top image and video models. If you are a developer, Call them all with a single API. How cool is that? Now, I'll show you exactly how that works, and we are going to put Google's Nano Banana Pro model through its spaces. Also, if you use my link in the description, you get a free $1 credit to generate your own images or videos, so you can follow along and try this yourself. All right, logo on screen, let's get into it. So what is WaveSpeed AI? Quick overview before the handsome demo. So WaveSpeed AI has two sides, okay? It has a studio for creators and artists and infra for developers, basically an API layer where one key gives you access to a whole ecosystem of models. Instead of this model is on that website and another one is on that Discord, <laughs> and this video model is in some beta you log into one workspace and they are all there you can try different styles and engines in the same project you can even compare results side by side and you can keep your prompt assets and outputs in one place so the whole idea is simple control consistency workflow for creators right and fast, stable, affordable infra for devs. It's kind of like a food court for AI models, but instead of regretting your choices 20 minutes later, you can actually reuse them in production. You like what you hear so far? Okay, awesome. Now there's three things to know before we jump into the live demo, okay? So number one, one API key for all models, right? If you are building a SaaS, a plugin, or an internal tool, you don't have to manage 10 different accounts and rate limits, right? You call image and video models from Google, ByteDance, XAI, and more to a single stable API. Number two, fast access to new models, right? When a new open weights or frontier model drops, the goal is to ship it quickly into the same interface and API. So you don't have to go hunting for whatever the new hot model is this week, okay? The third, it's built for real production work, right? Not just meme screenshots. So you've got stable infrastructure, asset management, and scene-based workflow. With enough control to iterate creatively, but still reproduce a result if a client asks for that exact shot again, right? So this is all straight from their creator brief. It's positioned as a professional multi-model production platform, not just another toy demo site. All right, let's actually use this thing, okay? So we are going to start with Google Nano Banana Pro, my favorite. Uh, it's one of the flagship models on WaveSpeed AI. Uh, then I'll show you how easy it is to swap to something like Seadream 4.5 or VO 3.1 in the same project, okay? Perfect. So you are looking at the WaveSpeed AI Studio. On the left is the project workspace, in the middle the prompt and the settings of course, on the right the outputs. Now quick note, Studio now supports generating multiple images per run, all like that. Uh, and you can choose to generate between one to four images here in the settings, as you can see. On each output, the toolbar icons go left or right, image edit, image to video, uh, zoom, and download, of course. But let's start simple. So we're gonna use this prompt, ultra sharp product photo of a wireless gaming mouse on a neon desk cinematic lightning. On the settings panel, I'll choose the output resolution here, not inside the prompt, okay? Perfect. So we've got Nano Banana Pro text image selected, and I'll hit generate. Simple. 
Now that's freaking fast. <laughs> I like it, really. Now the platform's whole pitch is best in class in fearing speed. And honestly, this feels usable in a real client workflow. I really like it. Now let's tweak it. So for this, I will change the prompt to the following. Same mouse, top down shot, moody cyberpunk city background, consistent branding and generate again. It's really impressive. You can see how the outputs stay grouped inside this project. So if this were a real brand, I'd be building a little library of consistent shots instead of random files scattered across my downloads folder. I really like this. Now control. So I'll pick this image, then click image edit. That's the next step in the studio workflow and ask for a variation. So we have variation with purple accent lighting and a slightly wider angle. Keep the same logo and general shape. As you can see, we are getting asset consistency. It's still our mouse. Same brand feeling, just exploring options. I really like this. Uh, exactly what we need in the e-commerce or advert sync. Now, if only it could also generate a client who says, yep, first version is perfect, no changes. <laughs> That's clearly still AG level, right? So what would happen if I change engines but stay in the same project? I'll simply switch to C Dream 4.5, same prompt, hit generate. It's unbelievable, right? Uh, now I'm doing a quick shout out between Nano Hana Pro, Seed Dream 4.5 inside one tool with prompts and assets shared. If you are a creator, you are not re-uploading images or rewriting prompts on three different sites. And if you are a developer, you can expose both models to your users through one API and they can pick what they like in your UE without you duct taping together five vendor integrations. Awesome, right? I know. Let's jump to video and turn one of these images into a clip. I'll click image to video on this image and it automatically inserts the image into the video page, right? Uh, on the left side, I'll select VO 3.1, image to video. The prompt we use, dynamic hero shot, camera orbiting around our gaming mouse on a glowing desk, cinematic lightning. In the duration setting, I will choose six seconds. Uh, VO 3.1 supports uh, four seconds, six seconds, and eight seconds, right? Generate, then click to video video. Wow, <laughs> wow. You can see how this fits a real workflow. Uh, prototype stills with Nanobana Pro, refine the look, then switch to video with VO 3.1. Same interface, same project, same asset library. I really like wave speed. Now here's a quick real world scenario, right? Case set number one, the solo YouTube creator. So maybe you run a tech channel and you can use wave speed AI to do the following. You could generate thumbnails with Nano Banana Pro, right? You can create short B-roll clips with VO 3.1 for intro and you keep prompts, styles and brand elements in one project per video. So instead of free AI sites and a folder called final final thumbnail v37 png, you've got your idea turned into a thumbnail concept and you've got the thumbnail matching the b-roll. All of this, everything stored and repeatable for the next video. Awesome, just awesome guys, just awesome. Now that's the studio side and the control consistency, the workflow, so you can spend more time creating and less time hunting for assets. <laughs> In what folder, uh, where is it that, and whatever, right? Now, let's flip it, right? So case set number two, the startup building an AI design tool, right? You are building a SaaS that helps marketers generate ad creative, right? And of course you want, what, different styles? Um, you want different models, maybe you want fast mode versus water quality. And if you wire this up directly, you would be juggling multiple providers, different API syntaxes, separate notification and billing and your own monitoring. So it will be a nightmare. But 
with WaveSpeed AI, you plug into one API and behind the scenes, it routes you to a Nano Banana Pro to see Dream 4.5, graph to image, even VO 3.1 and more models. In your product, a user just chooses the following, right? Uh, photo reel, illustration, or maybe short video loop, right? Now, while you keep your code base and logs clean, that's the infra angle. Fast, stable, like I said, affordable model, aggregation without rebuilding the same plumbing every month. You like it? I know, <laughs> I do as well. So to wrap up, WaveSpeed AI is trying to be the following. It's trying to be the studio, a pro workspace where creators manage prompts, assets, images, and videos with real control, right? Inconsistency, the most important, and the infra, a unified API that gives developers fast, stable access to a bunch of top image and video models without 10 different integrations, right? If you are a creator who wants a better workflow or a developer tired of maintaining spaghetti mass <laughs> of AI backends, it's worth trying in my opinion. And if you want to test it right now, please use my referral link in the description. Sign up and you will get $1 in free credit to generate images or videos and try Nano Banana Pro, as well as Dream 4.5, VO 3.1 and more models yourself. And if you end up building something cool with it, uh, drop a comment down below. I'd love to see what you guys make and give you my opinion. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if this was helpful. And I'll see you in my next AI tool recommendation. Peace out.